Hey steamers, are you ready for today's activity? Let's go. Today we'll be creating beautiful coffee filter flowers and we'll light them up using an LED light circuit. You'll find all the materials for this activity in the science kit in your Perfect Playdates at Home Steam Box. But if you don't have the Steam Box, the materials you need for this are coffee filters, one or two is fine. You'll also need a dropper, you'll need a small cup of water, markers, electrical tape, and we chose green to match our stem, little struggle, there we go. You're also going to need an LED light bulb. Um, we have this little one here, which has the diodes. Those are the two prongs at the bottom. We also have green pipe cleaners and we just plucked off on each end the fuzz to expose the wire to be a conductor for our electricity from the battery here. And we're going to use a three volt button battery to power our light bulb today. The first thing we want to do is take our coffee filters and just press them out flat on the table. Once they're all flat, you can use your markers and you're going to decorate it in any pattern or any way that you like. Once you design your coffee filter um, to your liking, you're going to want to take the dropper and just drop the water all around. And as you see, the color start to blend. You then want to dry your coffee filter. We were a little impatient, so we used a blow dryer. Next, we're going to work on our LED light circuit. So just separate the two diodes there so that you can then connect them to your conductor, your wire conductor. So you're gonna to want to pinch and twist very tightly the two wires together, just like a twist tie on your bread. Now, if this is difficult for you, you may want to let a grown up do it or um, maybe even use um, tweezers or pliers to pinch. Um, but this is pretty easy for strong fingers. And you can just pinch and twist it around, keeping the wires nice and tight. You wanna be able to tug a little bit without them um, coming, sliding at all. So be able to move that around. And then you also want to make sure that your wires are not quite touching. So I'm going to twist together the stem there, but you see I left some space so the wires don't cross. So I'm twisting now. Oh, sorry guys, you can't see that very well. But I'm just twisting the stem all the way down to the bottom, twisting all the fuzzy part together to make it one nice thin twist, one nice stem. And then you'll see at the bottom, I still have my two exposed wires that I'm going to now connect to the battery. When you are putting your, um, attaching your wires to the battery, you want to make sure that the correct wires are on the correct side so that you get the light. So if for example, I had the wires on the wrong side, there would be no light. So you want to make sure to turn it to the correct side, to put the correct wire on the correct side of the battery. Just like if you were putting it inside of a toy or a game or something. And then once you have that connected, you're going to want to tape it in place because as you see, every time you move, it moves. So we're just gonna take the electrical tape and tape that right in place. So now you have your LED electrical light circuit. The electricity from the battery is carrying up the wire through the pipe cleaners 
to the diodes on the LED light, giving you an electrical current and giving you light. Now we're gonna create our flowers. So I'm just gonna fold the two dried coffee filters into four. And then I'm gonna snip with a pair of scissors. I know I didn't mention scissors um, before, so you could just tear it a little bit as long as you have some space there, um, or just grab a pair of scissors. Then you'll just wanna stick your light circuit through the hole Slide it down enough that you're again not crossing the wires and you can tape it at the bottom to stay in place. Blouse your paper out to expose your flower. I'm sorry, to expose your light and you're all set. There you have your LED light circuit and your beautiful light up coffee filter flower. I hope you enjoyed today's steam activity. As always, Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And also head over to perfectplaydates.org and sign up for your monthly Perfect Playdates at Home subscription box. Goodbye.